okay? Okay, so now we're at um, the little place where all the roads in Wollonga meet. So I think you think this is like the Federation <laughs> Square of Wollonga. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a really nice little part of town. So you, I'm sitting get, we're sitting down here at this little bench. So um, welcome so, to this part of Wollonga. Thank you very much. So now the question of this stuff is, what would take female founders to the next level? Yeah, so investment. That's what women are looking for, female founders. We know that the uh, venture capital is just appalling for female founders, less than 4%, just unbearable. Um, so 4%? This, yeah, it's pretty incredible. It peaked about 7% four years ago in the US. So uh, we've got a long, long way to go to actually um, improve the contribution that's coming from that part of the world um, into female founding businesses. And we know that only about 20 to 25% of female founders are getting investment from anywhere generally. So that's got to improve. Um, and the ways that it, we can improve that is if uh, investors themselves start looking at why why not invest in female founders and all the evidence is in is actually a, not a feminist argument it's an economic argument if you invest in a female founders business you're going to get at least one and a half times more uh, back for your investment than you would if you don't have a, a female founder um, running the business that you want to invest in so no brainer just get on with it invest in women and you'll get the returns really fast the other um, thing is that we for women um, we're looking at ways that we can invest in ourselves. So the first thing would be to buy products from female founders. Mm -hmm. And also you might want to join the international global CEO movement, which is female um, women investing um, small amounts of money to aggregate together for large grants, $100,000 each. And um, I'm very excited that CEO has now just come to Australia mm -hmm. and uh, we're having our launch of that in um, a few weeks in Adelaide, but it's happening all over the country. So that's something to really look out for. Mm -hmm. So three words that describe female investment. Uh, no brainer. You can get a great return very quickly. Two. Uh, two. The second thing would be that female founders are really good at being diligent and do the due diligence to get the best economic results that you they want. They have you at their heart. Number three. And number three is... Uh, just do it just do it <laughs> just do it please invest in female founders <laughs> thank you very much Maria. let's go to the next stop 